Well, good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect... Whistle's gone, that's uh, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Hoiberg. And it's Deli Alley. Deli Alley has a pop! <laughs> oh, a goal of real quality. He made it look ridiculously easy. Well, most of those go high and wide because of their difficulty. He made it look like he does it every day. Tottenham take the lead. Two minutes to be added on. Ali. It's one! And the ice is there! A two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. Simplicity itself. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. They took the defence out of the equation for that split moment and the damage was all done. Tottenham could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. And time is up. No joy for the players, nor indeed for the loyal fans. It has ended in defeat. A thoroughly disappointing outcome. Lucas Moura. What a ball! And the shot! It's there! The breakthrough strike! Oh, high quality goal. Lovely first touch. Sumptuous second. Established. Hoiberg. Ball through needs to be good here. Just the goal. It's Kane! Goal! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Starting to look very comfortable. And that will be the final act. No joy for the players, nor indeed for the loyal fans. It has ended in defeat. A thoroughly disappointing outcome. Your reflections, then, Jim. Inevitable in terms of the result. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Udinese draw first blood here. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1 0. Back to the keeper and go again. That could spell trouble. And here's Ibrahimovic. And this is all oh, shooting chance! 
And yes, it's there! Milan are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, nearly executed. Celanolu needed to come up with a better ball. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Kessier. Okaka. Goes for goal! to shoot and he duly delivered yeah I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was it took the defense out of the equation for that split moment and the damage was all done his second of the game and an eye now for the hat trick Udinese go into the lead which upset Looks to thread it through. Rebic! He's got away with one there. Oh, that was great pressure to force the initial error, Peter. It's the perfect example as to why this is a favourite tactic of a lot of teams these days. The changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. To stoppage time, whistle due any moment. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Torreira. And it's De La Feu. Now it's Llorente. Lovely bit of skill there. He's come loose. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Udinese has held on. A knife-edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. You look back on the game, then, Jim.